Hey guys, what's happening? So I'm at Marylebone Station right now. I'm about to go on a walk, the Saunderton Circular Walk. So this is one of the hidden gems, I think. When you think of like country walks, you think of, you know, the South Downs, the Serpent Trail, but no one really knows about Saunderton. So I'm gonna show you why it's one of my favorite walks in the UK. From Marylebone, it's about 40 minutes out. I think this walk's about 10 miles in total. Very scenic, very enjoyable, not too difficult, which is good. It's a very hot day today. I'm feeling absolutely knackered already and we haven't even left yet. Come along with me, I'm gonna show you why you should try the Saunderton Circular Walk. Enjoy. So we have arrived in Saunderton. The weather is a bit cloudy now. When you come out of Saunderton station, you do feel like you're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And you are in a way. Immediately the fresh Chiltern air in your lungs. And I'm not joking, there is no one around today. Now this I absolutely love. stretches on for miles. All you can hear is the birds. Very cool old barn over there. You could hear an owl. A barn owl. You can always tell which paths are like popular by how overgrown they are. Random farm gear. God look at this old tree. Busy motorway. What's he doing? What is that? This scenery is literally amazing. I think we're about two miles into the walk now. I'm getting very hot and sweaty, which is always a good sign. We're coming up to the first pit stop, which is a pub called the Lions of Bledlow, in the tiny little village of Bledlow. I think that's what it's called. Is it Hounds of Bledlow or Lions of Bledlow? We'll soon find out, but yeah. Nothing more rewarding than walking for three miles, stopping, getting a pint, moving on. These cornfields are just insane. Who's seen that film, Children of the Corn? 1984, classic Stephen King story. I've actually seen a few people, which is very odd. You don't usually see people kind of come down to this wooded area. I'm pretty sure there should be some sheep in here, which is what I've been looking for. It's what I've always been looking for. But here we go. There you go. Chilton Way. And finally we have some sheep. That's more like it. That's all you want, just to stand in a field all day. Not a care in the world. Look at that in the distance. Real Buckinghamshire countryside. Plenty of sheep to boot. The sheep's wool is in the trees. Look, it's drinking time. Hi. No, don't stop. Carry on. Hi. It's just so weird, you're in these fields and then all of a sudden, like a village. It's even got its own town hall. Would you believe it? Here we are. Lions of Bledlow. That is definitely its name. It's a cool breeze blowing. I've got a pint of Stoford Press. Oh, 
and that is the main thing I look for when I'm planning a walk is is there a good pub to stop at sitting here with a pint getting some food it really does just charge you up again and it's weird this is just at the end of a road like a dead-end road there's like houses over there it's cars like driving past anyway I'll let you know how I get on that is what I'm talking about seriously imagine living there you're just like you wake up like late on a like Sunday morning, like 10 a.m. Just come down here and get a pint. And just sit on this bench reading the morning paper. Right, so we're back on the road now. More sheep. Look at that up there. A house. Who lives up there? What are they doing? Feeling very lethargic all of a sudden. Help. The worst pathway in the world. That is like a proper chicken coop, isn't it? Someone's teddy has been beheaded. I always like this on country walks. You don't bring a map, you can still follow the arrows. We're going uphill now. I'm out of breath without going uphill. So this is gonna be interesting. Wish me luck. Help. 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 It's so weird, you're suddenly on these roads again. They come out of nowhere. There's a house there called Yaffle's Haunt. This is my favourite bit of the walk, honestly. Christmas Inc. Some random Christmas warehouse. I mean, what's going on? What do they do for the other 11 months of the year? Just a random Christmas shop in the middle of literally nowhere. Look, they got their own lorry. Whoa, their own skip. Christmas Inc. I'm gonna remember that. Check out their website. Literally looks like a painting. And that is why they call it landscapes. Okay guys, you're probably getting sick of me saying it, but if you could subscribe to the channel, it will really help me out. Someone's left their spectacles. Oh. Hello. This is St. Mary's Church. It looks old as time. You can help yourself to a drink as well. So peaceful. I could just spend all day sitting outside. It's no exaggeration, I could literally sit here for the rest of my life. It's always weird, you walk through these random like villages and then suddenly you just come across a place like this. You can't believe your luck. Come down from there. Going up here. Oh, can you see that butterfly? Wow. Yeah, this is as bad as it's gonna get. But from here it must all be good. Ow! Ow! Welcome to Yosden, I've never heard of that. Okay, so, an update. We got to the place where the second pub was, which is called The Boot. But it is closed between the hours of half three and half five. Which is, well, we're exactly in the middle of that time right now. So we're gonna have to skip that one. There is a pub at the end by Saunderton Station, so I'm going to have to wait for that crisp pint of beer just a bit longer. But yeah, not too far away now from the end. What is that bird doing? That's so cool. Yeah, you can see the train go past in the background. So, no deer today. We did see a lot of rabbits, a lot of sheep. I saw the red kite, the famous red kite. A few horses as well. I had to uh, save the uh, battery on my camera for a bit. It was running low. So I didn't show you any footage for about an hour. Pygmy horse. And that is the end. We are back at Saunderton Station now. However, there is a pub just around the corner. The train is not for another 40 minutes. So it's a chance for one more pint. Let's go. Here we go. The Golden Cross. This looks a bit more lively than the last one. A bit more modern as well. There are actually two Saunderton circular walks. I've taken you on the more scenic one. The other one goes around the roads a lot more, so it's like busy like this. 
Well, that does go to a nice hilltop mausoleum type thing, and it also goes past the Hellfire Caves. But this one is much more scenic. So guys, that's the end of the walk. Thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed that. I'm not too much of a sweaty mess, this time anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, please like the video. Want to see some more country walks like this one? See the link over there. Otherwise, see you on the next one. Thanks guys, see you soon.